So what kind of research did you kind of have to go through before actually get, uh, starting to work on this film? Um, quite a bit. Obviously it's really important to sort of not only understand domestic abuse from a factual point of view but from an emotional and psychological point of view. I was incredibly fortunate to have a mentor, um, Beverly Atkinson, from the Henry Street Domestic Abuse Shelter in New York. She worked me, with me on the script. Um, she let me, myself and Olivia, hang out and talk to survivors, a few of which appear in the film. Um, so it was really about getting into their headspace and understanding what they go through um, and speaking to a lot of lawyers <laughs> as well. Yeah. Now, not only was this like a, a deep film, but this was also your first uh, directorial debut. So, you know, how challenging or what kind of challenges did you face in order to create this film? Um, I think just not having any idea what I was doing really was probably the biggest challenge. Um, but luckily I was surrounded by great people. Olivia was incredibly supportive. Um, and I just love it. I really love it. Um, and I'm just very thankful that I got a chance to do it. What was it about Olivia that you wanted her to be part of this film? I mean, gosh, what, what is there not to love? Um, I think, first of all, her presence socially and politically as an activist, um, I've always found very powerful. Um, I think when you look at the body of work that she's done, her range is incredible. Um, and then there's that incredible face as well. You know, we stripped her of all her makeup and she just took on this otherworldly dimension and completely inhabited the role. I, I honestly am, can't still believe what she did. It blows my mind. Congratulations with the film. Thank you so much.